Commodore 64 gamers rejoice. Guns and Ghosts is now available for the Commodore 64. If you are sitting there scratching your head, wondering what a Commodore 64 is, well, chances are you were still itching your way through your dad's jockstrap when this computer was in circulation. Developed by Trevor Smila Story and Georg Enderian Rottensteiner, this action platformer places the player in the role of either Trev of George. The objective is to clear over 70 screens of zombies, hyperactive, skeletons, headless ghouls, and other undead monstrosities. Today, I have C64 Gamer Vidki joining me to help review Guns and Ghosts for the Commodore 64. Vicky, please introduce yourself. Sup guys. I'm happy to be here for your channel's video review. It's great to have you here. Vicky. Okay, grab the joystick and get started. No. Not that joystick, you stupid bitch. Guns and Ghosts is similar to games like Puzzle Bobble. The game plays across 70 static levels filled with creatures creatures appear on screen through random portals. The objective is to kill everything so you can move on to the next level. When killed, your enemies drop power-ups that will increase your character's abilities. These powers up includes an ammo increase, immunity, and strength increases. You can also play as either Georg or Trev. George, as seen here, carries a shotgun. He obviously has an advantage because of his gun. The only drawback to using George is that you have to stand still to reload your weapon. Luckily, he reloads his weapon automatically. Um, Alex? Yes, Vicky? You're supposed to be shooting the creatures. You're supposed to shoot the creatures. The little guys on the screen? Yes. The little guys on the screen, you stupid, dumb fucking discarded tampon bag. Shoot what's on the screen. Well, this reminds me of my last date. Take that you stupid fuck. Well, if Vicky the useless combat doesn't decide to interrupt again. The second character, Trap, doesn't use a gun. He uses psychic powers to kill his foes. Trev must also get in close to kill his foes until he acquires the range ability. The game also has incredibly difficult boss battles. Alex? What now? Do you have a girlfriend? I'd rather feed my dick to a school of piranha. Now shut up and play the goddamn game, you Friday night punching bag. As I was saying, the boss battles are very challenging. Similar to games from the NES era, the bosses use advanced patterns that take time to learn. The first boss, which is a vector, fills the screen with a bright light that resembles a cross. So Vicky, what do you think of the game so far? Um, I like it. That's it? You don't have anything constructed to say? Um, well, you have a big joystick. You stupid scout factory. I knew I shouldn't have used Craigslist. Guns and Ghosts is published by both Citronic Software and RGCD. Citronic Software handles the floppy disk and cassette tape releases. If you don't own the Commodore 64, and it sucks to be you, you can purchase a digital download to play on an emulator. RGCD is responsible for releasing the cartridge version of the game. Vicky, any closing remarks for Guns and Ghosts? Yes. If you don't buy this game, I'll take a dump in your morning cereal. And who the fuck knows what's been up there? Guns and Ghost is an incredible game. It's available now for the Commodore 64. Don't be a schmuck, buy a copy today. Alex? What now? Are you taking me to dinner after this? Dinner? The only thing you're getting for dinner is my fucking tube steak. You stupid bitch.